Hi everybody, this is a video of the SL Comfort Fluorescent Bulb, the Pearl Incandescent GLS Bulb, uh, the Self Ballasted Mercury Bulb and the High Pressure Sodium Tubular Bulb. As you can see, all these four, they're all uh, all in the four lines and as you can see, it's, um, it's in the extension, ready to fire up into that main socket in one second or two everybody. So as you see, we've got the Fluorescent Bulb, the Incandescent Bulb and the mercury bulb and the high pressure sodium bulb all m4 they'll be ready to fire up so anyway i'm going to uh turn off the uh the big light so I'll just get my hand onto the into the onto the big light now so right that's it now the the big light's gone out so onto the uh onto the four lights now everybody ready after three one two three wow as you can see uh, the uh, the self ballasted mercury bulbs just uh, come on like incandescent and the incandescent pearl bulb and as you can see it's just got two incandescent lights and let's take a good look into this uh, self ballasted mercury bulb yep so the filaments just kicked in and this is the Crompton one and as you can see the the high pressure sodium bulb it's starting to change orange now so as you can see and there's the um the the no ordinary incandescent bulb that's a that's a that's got 150 watts and this is the SL comfort bulb and that's got 18 watts and that's equivalent to 75 yeah so as you can see you've got the 160 watt self ballasted mercury bulb and the 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb and as you can see the they've all full all full brightness and everything so the the Oz, um the high pressure sodium bulb's lit a, it's gone right orange like an orange juice glow Let's take a good look into that one. Just don't, I don't want to knock the others over, but let's so take a good look at that high pressure sodium bulb. It's uh, it's fully reached its full brightness. Well, it's just change orange, but it will, well, it come to its last full brightness. So anyway, let's take a good look into this uh, Crompton uh, self ballasted mercury bulb. As you can see, it looks like the uh, this, um, the mercury arc tube starting to uh, flare up now. So and let's take a, another good look at this uh, Pearl GLS light bulb, yeah. So as you can see, um, and that's the and the SL Comfort bulb. You can't see how inside it because the the outer glass is fully frosted. So as you can see now, oh, it looks like the uh, the Crompton's uh, self ballasted mercury bulbs are uh, fully changed to mercury now. So as you can see now, the all these four are their full brightnesses, each and every one of them. Yeah. So I thought I'd do four of these four different type of bulbs together as you can see yep yeah. so as you can see I had to put the Pringles underneath the high pressure sodium lamp just to try and raise it up so it could be as high as these three so uh, and there's all my fruits and especially my, my bananas bananas in pajamas so anyway just to get that cushion up as a as you can see I can see all the reflections from these four light bulbs yeah and let's look all around the ceiling and all around the room it's all fully lit really bright it looks a bit colorless on camera but from my eyes it looks more colorful yeah so let's take another good glimpse before i switch them out and uh, let's take a good look oh as you can see now the the, the self ballasted mercury bulbs definitely changed to ink and well changed to a uh, mercury vapor now and the high pressure sodium bulbs definitely reached its full brightness and everything and all these four well these two the incandescent bulb and the fluorescent bulb as you can see now they they've, uh, they've fully reached their brightness and everything let's have a look last look into it this way yep change the mercury now and everything and um, yep that's right so I'm going to uh, turn them off and turn them back on and, and see what happens so so as you can see now the they've all gone out but as you can see the uh, the high pressure sodium bulb still uh, glowing but it'll it'll fade away very very slowly so as you can see it'll take its time to fade very very slowly so <laughs> so uh, so anyway guys as you can see now it's fading yeah but the rest of others have fully faded very they fade very quickly than the high pressure sodium bulb so as you can see now it's um it's fading away now 
So I'm going to turn it on back on in one second as, as soon as that high pressure sodium bulb's fully settled down. Will it? Yeah, it is now. It's fully settling down. So anyway, guys, I'm going to uh, turn the. I'm going to turn them back on. So here we go. Wow! As you can see, the the fluorescent bulb just fully flashed on. So let's take a good look at this now. Um, that's uh, just fully come back on, and the incandescent bulb, but the self-balanced mercury bulb hasn't, but the high-pressure sodium bulbs are uh, fully uh, come back on. But that comes back on straight away, just like these two bulbs do, but the self-balanced mercury bulb doesn't. It t it stops off for about a minute or two, but we'll see how we'll see how long this one takes to fully kick back in. So, so I'll keep my, the keep the camera focused at this bulb. So. You might be able to see a bit of that mercury gas uh, start to kick in before the whole lot does. So, please wait. It's not doing it just yet, but all I can hear now is just the clock ticking. So... It'll take its time, but it's still got the reflection from the high pressure sodium bulb. But oh, looks like I can see the from my eyes. Looks like I see the oh, here we go. The 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 self balanced mercury bulb starting to restrike now. Look, look what's happening now. Here we go. Oh, it's flashing like lightning. As you can see, when it when it flashes on, that that oh, here we go. The, the filament is very like like a lightning bolt when it flashes. Hey, as you can see now, the the Crompton self balanced mercury bulbs just fully kicked in. Well, let's take a good glimpse into this one with my camera. And as you can see, the filament is a uh, fully kicked back in, but soon it takes about. Well, it'll soon change to mercury as the, the filaments just kicked in. So we'll take a look at this high-pressure sodium bulb again whilst we wait for that, that mercury bulb to fully flare up. And as you can see, the, um, this is the incandescent light bulb. That's uh, and, the, and the, the comfort bulb. Yeah, I thought I'd do the comfort one. Yeah, I'll do the prismatic one next in the next video. So anyway, guys, as you can see, the... We've got full brightness of light. Actually, it's lit my breakfast tea table in lots of different coloured mixed lights. You can't very well, it's more plain white on the camera, but for my eyes, uh, you can see, see the, the, incan the two are incandescent and one fluorescent and high pressure sodium. But the high pressure sodium bulb's only got 70 watts, but these two that have incandescent filaments, one's got 150 and one's got 160. And that one, that fluorescent one's only got 75 watts. Well, it goes 75 watts bright, but 18 watts warm. So, <clears throat> as you can see now, uh, from, as you can see, that, that high-pressure sodium bulb glares to my eyes when I look at the side of my tablet. So, as you can see now, it looks like the um, the high-pressure, um, the self-balanced mercury bulbs are, oh, yeah, it is now. It's fully changing to mercury. So, as you can see now, the, um, it's starting to uh, change, um, yep, it is now. As, as you can see, the, the Crompton, but it's printed upside down. But but this is this uh, high-pressure sodium bulb is only a, is an Osram one, a tubular one. Uh, this one, this is this is an Atlas one. I did videos of this one before. I did it with the, the other self-ballasted mercury bulb when we had that clear one and uh, that Philips... Um, comfort bulb so as you can see now so let's take a good look at all these four now oh as you can see now the they've um, they fully uh, changed this bulb that self balanced one's fully from my eyes it has fully changed to mercury let's take another last glimpse into it before i switch it out again yep as you can see now the the uh, self ballasted uh, mercury uh, art tube is fully flared up so as you can see now the it's um it's reached its full brightness at 160 watts. Yep, that's right. It has now. So as you can see now, they've uh, fully um 
reach their full brightness and everything so I'm glad we've got mixed type of lights and everything so all these are these four full are fully brightened up now so well anyway I'm going to uh, turn them off now I'm gonna put so as you see right that's it now they've gone out now so the uh, the high pressure sodium bulb still glowing but it'll fade away very slowly you can still see the self ballasted mercury bulb but that's fully gone out but the uh, the uh, sodium art tube is still glowing but it will fade away very very slowly so all it's doing now it's just uh, fading away very very slowly so as you can see now it's it's fading very very slowly it's like like a pumpkin glow yeah so looks like you can see it on the camera now it's fully faded away so anyway guys I'm going to uh, turn this uh, big light back on so right that's it now the the big lights are uh, back on so so anyway guys so this is uh, the video of the uh, SL Comfort fluorescent bulb the pearl incandescent GLS bulb the 160 watt self ballasted mercury bulb and the high pressure sodium uh, tubular bulb everybody so I hope you all enjoyed this video so please comment rate and subscribe thank you for watching everybody